Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day and you're good to go for our video. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights. Can I ask if that is you and you've not been here before, before we go any further into today's video, that you click subscribe and ring the bell. That is the only way to make sure that my next video lands directly in your inbox as soon as it's uploaded and you won't miss a single video. In today's video, I am so excited to be doing part two of my huge eyeshadow palette declutter. Make sure you check out part one. I will link it at the top of the screen right now so you can check it out. I've had over 100 palettes. Like I don't even know at this point what my total amount of palettes is that I've had and I'm going through. Um, but in part one, I decluttered like 35 or 39, I think, and kept 59. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm trying to like blot it out. It was a painful moment for me. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to be doing the second half because I simply could not fit it all in one video. Now in part one I did brands like Colourpop, Huda, Natasha Denona, ABH, Sigma um, and then in today's video I'm going to be doing all of the other palettes in my collection so we've got the likes of MAC, we have got Makeup Revolution, um, lots of like individual palettes where I've only got one palette from the brand and stuff like that so there's a huge selection in this one Ow. <laughs> there's a huge selection in this one which will hopefully make it just as fun as the first one and hopefully you will enjoy seeing which palettes I'm keeping, 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 and which palettes I'm going to declutter. Um, guys, can I also ask, before I dive into decluttering, can you let me know in the comments what video you want to see next in this series of decluttering? Somebody said lipsticks, which I hadn't thought of, but is an epic idea because I have more lipsticks than eyeshadow palettes. Like, these drawers... This one should not be open. Uh, these drawers, so many of them are full of lip products. This one is all full at the top, but used to be organized and is now like, if I open it, like they fall out. That's how full that one is. I've then got lipsticks and lip liners in this one. And then this one down here, or this one, is also full of lipsticks and so is this one. Plus I've got some in a box underneath my desk, so yeah. That's gonna be a long video. That's gonna be like a five part. But let me know if you wanna see that, if there's anything else you wanna see. I know so many of you said you wanna see a vanity tour. My thinking with that, guys, simply is gonna be, I'm gonna to have to wait till I've decluttered before I do the vanity tour because at the moment there's way too many products in there. But that one will be coming very soon. I know you're here to see me declutter some eyeshadow palettes. So guys, I'm gonna take you downstairs to my living room again because I simply don't have enough space up here. Let's declutter the second part of my eyeshadow palette collection. Okay guys, so as you can see, a bit more of a mismatch. There's almost 50 palettes here, so slightly less than the last video. Um, I seem to have lost like a box. I had a shoe box with some in. I think maybe I lost them when I moved house actually. Um, but we've got the Makeup Revolution ones down this side. We've got Bobbi Brown. We've then also got some NARS ones. MAC and then Charlotte Tilbury over here. And then the rest are like a Mod Podge of brands, Sephora, She Glam, Vive, Violet Voss, Inglot, Dose of Colours, Tropic, NYX, Morphe. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had a shoebox that I've lost with other, I had a lot of NYX, I had a lot of the Morphe ones, actually like the big palettes. So apparently I've had so many, I haven't even noticed that they've disappeared. But we are gonna do these today um, and hopefully you will enjoy part two of the video as much as part one. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Makeup Revolution. Um, these are the chocolate bar palettes, which I flipping love. Um, I just think that they're so cute. I love them, I use them. I just love the fact that they are a more affordable version. Let's be honest, they're dupes of the Too Faced ones. They're very, they very much got that kind of vibe about them. Uh, let's have a look in this one. This one was Lemon Drizzle. I don't think I actually used this one that much much. Um, I used a couple of the shades on my lid, um, like yeah, lemon drizzle, but I do like the colours in there and to be honest, I don't have another palette like this one. Um, this one's tough, let's have a look at the payoffs on these because I'm not entirely sure what I want to do about this one. Um, I mean they look strong, let's see. Okay, so it's like one swipe, there's still some on my fingers, but like the payoff is actually really good on these. I don't know if I can bring myself to part with this palette, so it's going in my keep pile. Okie dokie, next up we have got Cranberries and Chocolate, another one. Again, I love the colour selection that these palettes have. I don't have, but I have purples, I have pinks in my collection. I don't have like burgundies. Um, the 
do I think, yeah, I have used some of the shades in this. I have done a couple of eye looks with this and I did really like it. I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. Don't hate me, I am trying to declutter guys, but these burgundy shades I feel would really complement some of my pink eye looks. So this one is also going in my keep pile. Okay, next up. Uh, this one is the S'mores palette, so uh, a little bit more brown tone, neutrals. Again, every time I look at these palettes, I'm like, Chloe, why don't you use them more? They are simply beautiful, and you just never have to worry with the quality of these. For a budget-friendly palette, guys, the payoff is incredible. My camera is not loving life, but look at that payoff so strong. So this one is also going in the keep pile. Do you know what, this is why I love doing these videos. I am now so inspired to start using these more. This is my strawberry cheesecake. Now this one I'm gonna say straight up, I'm gonna declutter. I've got lots of pinks, I've got lots of these tones in other palettes, plus I didn't actually expect to wanna keep as many of the Makeup Revolution ones as I've just put in my keep pile. So this one, not because there's anything wrong with it, simply because I've already got all of the shades is going in the declutter pile. Okay, one I definitely know that I'm keeping. Again, very much like the Too Faced ones, um, their chocolate bar palette that, this isn't one of the chocolate bar ones, but I've used this and I can honestly tell you guys the payoff on these shades. Let me show you. Right, so that's my fingers. Like, oh, I mean the pink's not come out because I didn't really press hard enough, but look. That's really far away from the camera. And that is super close up. Look at the quality of those. Also keeping. Okay, just gonna move some of these. I then loved the Friends collection. In fact, I did a whole YouTube video when it arrived and loved it. Um, I have used this a little bit more since then. The colors are lovely. I feel like as a makeup collector, this is one of those ones that I love, but I do not use it. Um, and a couple of my friends have already told me that they've got dibs on this one. So this one's going in my declutter pile. I'll be sad not to see it because it's super cute, but I just don't use it enough. Then on the Friends Nation, we have the mini palettes. Again, I did love these when they came out, but I think I got them simply because of the notion that they were friends. Oh, look, there's me. <laughs> um, uh, I really should declutter all of them. I'm definitely gonna declutter this one. Again, I've got pinks, I've got neutrals. I don't need that one, sorry, Rachel. Um, I do really love Phoebe. That was probably my favorite and surprised me the most. But then I did also really like the neutrals in the Monica. No, come on, Chloe, be ruthless. Then you can buy some more. Okie dokie, then one that I've used again, like in the previous video, this is the Chocolate Strawberry Cheek Palette, but I actually use this uh, as eyeshadows, but haven't reached for it at all in general. So that one will also go in my declutter pile. Okay, a couple of individual ones. I think I got both of these in beauty boxes, potentially glossy box. I know that one was glossy box. Um, how, ooh, plastic thing falling out. Um, this one, Bella Pierre, Brown Eyed Girl. I loved... The colours in these, I thought that they were beautiful. Let's, I can't remember the payoff. Very nice. I mean, if I wasn't keeping the um, Revolution one with these similar colours, I would definitely keep it. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I'm keeping it. That's beautiful. That's a whole eye look right there. And then this was a Steve Laron. A, I mean, it's very Huda Beauty, isn't it? Um, but... I'm not gonna use those colors, so goodbye. Okay, moving on to my Bobbi Brown palette. Now, I haven't used any of these in a while, I'm gonna be honest, but I did love them. Um, so this is the Nude, very much reminding me, this top line of some of my Natasha Denona's, and then these ones, very much my Natasha Denona Glam palette. Don't use this, that's gonna have to go, that really hurts me. Bobbi Brown is one of my favorite brands, but it does really hurt me. So this is the Nude on Nude, um, then the other one. So we've got more of a warm tone and then a cool tone. Again, I've got all of these shades in the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So that one is also gonna have to go. One of my favorite Bobbi Brown palettes, but one I haven't used in a while. Um, oh. I love this, this was limited edition, this is the Camo Luxe Eye and Cheek Palette. You guys know if you watched the first video, I have been on the hunt for the perfect khaki eye palette. I found it from Colourpop, so time to go. Oh. Okay, then two that I haven't used in a really long time. I used them once. These are Christmas limited editions that they came last year. Um, so we've got the, this is Fever Dream and Luxe Gems. This one I'm gonna declutter simply because I've got the warm tones, but this one, look at that. I mean, Chloe, you'd be so silly to get rid of this. 
It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one too. Okay, moving on to NARS. Um, and then we'll do MAC. Again, used to use these religiously, but then have found brands like ColourPop, who I just feel like the payoff is so much better. I love NARS. They used to be, NARS and MAC used to be like my OG. I can't even open this one, guys. Um, OG brands, I use these religiously. I mean, this shade is nearly on pan. I've got to be honest, I don't reach for these enough. And I love NARS and it makes me so sad, but they have not excited me with a palette in like two years, I think maybe. Um, I just can't justify keeping these when I know that other people would love them. I mean, the shimmers that they do are lovely. The glittery ones are lovely. I mean, this is literally a gorgeous shade. So, so pretty, very shimmery, but I just, I'll keep this one. I'm gonna keep this one and then I'm going to declutter both of these. Okay, on to my Max. Now, these palettes are the uh, by 15. So this is called Neutrals and this one is Warm Neutrals. Again, I use them religiously. I think both of them were Christmas presents years and years ago. I just don't realistically think it would even be safe for me to use these, they're so old. Um, but they have been well loved and well used. But again, I've had the upgrade on the Natasha Denona Glam palette for the cool tones and the pigments a lot better. The warm tones, again, I think my Natasha Denona Bieber palette actually probably bang on nails some of those. So sad times, it feels like the end of an era, but I'm gonna get rid of both of these. The only other MAC one that I've got is this one. This was limited edition Ellie Golding and it, it had like this cream one underneath. I'm gonna keep this because actually I loved this shade. And this is a base, made this one really, really pop. So I'm gonna keep it. It's probably older than, well, it is actually older than my youngest son probably means I'm gonna get an eye infection, but you know what? I'm not even gonna lie about it, guys. I have really old makeup that I still use. I'm not one of these bloggers who's like, oh, don't use it after 12 months. I'm sorry. These palettes, some of them cost like 50 or 60 quid. I will use them until I'm 80 to get my money's worth. Moving on, <laughs> Sephora Pro. Got this when I went to America, I think, or I bought it online, but it cost me a ton of money. The pigmentation at the time was incredible, but like I said, as uh, with so many of these other palettes, the payoff now to really impress me has to be high. I'm talking Natasha Denona, Colourpop, those brands impress me. This not so much, and I just feel like there's not enough shimmers in here for me. It's too matte. I don't use a lot of mattes, so I'm sad for how much this one cost me, but it's time to go. Okie dokie, iconic. Got this in Glossy Box's advent calendar. Have used a couple of the colors, but not many. I'm actually gonna keep it because I like it. It's warm toned, and I feel like this would be a great palette for when I go on holiday in the summer. Um, lots of lovely eye looks. Reminded me of one of my Sigma ones from video one, but I'm gonna keep it. Yes, I'm gonna keep it. Okie dokie, another one that I used to the death was Violet Voss. Now, this was probably, um, for me, when I started to notice the difference in what I initially thought when I started loving makeup like I do now, what I initially thought would was good quality makeup, eyeshadows, should I say, and excellent, because these shimmers were incredible at the time. And you can see from the way that this shade is like dented, it moved like butter. I loved it, used it to the death. It's just, if there was slightly more on this kind of champagne tone, I would keep this without a doubt. But I do have these shades in so many other palettes and I just, it's just a bit old for me now. I mean, obviously not as old as the other ones, but um, I'm gonna go, it's gonna go. Okay, another one that I bought because I love the look of it was the Lara Lee. Um, not massively a fan of hers, to be honest, but I saw the shades and thought I'd love it. But to be honest, the payoff was awful. So, bye-bye. That's all I'm gonna say. Vive, a relatively new one. I haven't reached for it that much, but I have reached for it some of the time. I love the shades on this. They're very me, they're very usable. There's literally multiple eye looks in this palette. Um, I'm gonna keep this 100% because I do use it and I want to use it more and I'm not ready to part with this one yet. Okay, now this one I bought to do a YouTube tutorial on um, Shein's makeup. Uh, I was gonna do like a whole tutorial. I bought a whole face worth of makeup and I just haven't got around to it. And to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna have time now. My postman rudely interrupted me there, but yes, I'm not gonna have time to do the tutorial. I don't love these shades. It was the best of what I could get when I was gonna do the full face. Um, so I will declutter this and give it away. Very similar in the shade tones is the Sosu. Um, this was the Hot Fire. Got this from Fragrance Direct. Um, 
actually really love it. Love the shades. Again, I've kept quite a few palettes with these warm tone, fiery tones in them. But it's a lovely palette. The payoff's great. There's a good mixture of shimmers and mattes. Loads of eye looks, very me tones. I love this palette. The only reason I'm not keeping it is because I've got the shades already. But actually, if you want a budget friendly, warm colored palette, this one I do really recommend. Okay, we're on to the last ones. Now, very bold. This was, oh, can't even pick it up. This is an eyeshadow palette and a cheek parrot, parrot, palette. Um, very much giving me the ABH modern renaissance vibes there, uh, which I've kept. Uh, so this one has got to go because I don't use it. Inglot, I made this palette um, when I went into their store and have used it so much, really like it. Perfect eye tones for me. Uh, again, I'm gonna make sure I use this more. I'm gonna keep it because I loved it and the payoff is fantastic. Another smaller one in the same sort of size is this one was, I think this is my only ever dose of colors. Um, I bought it for this shade, I'm not gonna lie but I have barely used it. It's such a shame. I think this palette cost me like 30 pounds. It was so expensive for a six pound palette that's not like Tom Ford. Um, gonna have to declutter because I don't use it, but I slightly want to slap myself for spending that much money on it. Tropic Skincare. I actually did an exclusive when, the, when Tropic launched their very own palettes that you can build. You can put eyeshadow colors, um, cheeks, stuff like bronzers, blushes, um, eyebrow stuff, like make your whole only palette. It was so much fun. Um, oh, I'm going to keep it because it reminds me of making it and I did use it so much. I had literally every shade um, in, I had every product in the whole range and I still do, um, but I just haven't revisited it. So maybe I'm going to mix up the ones that I've got inside and then I'll revisit a bit more. NYX, the ultimate, this is the Warm Neutrals. Very much a me palette, but have got those shades in better performing products. I feel like I'm speeding through this video, but gonna declutter that one. Morphe, what is this one? I can't even remember. Oh, love this. You know how in my previous video, the Huda palette that I loved was all cracked and broken. Very much the same sort of shades. As you can see, we've got the shimmery champagne for the lid and some mattes. Not that much shimmer in here, but I'm gonna keep this because actually I forgot the shades were in there and I really like it. And going to end on some premiumness. Uh, Tom Ford got this in, did I get this in duty free? I think I did. Haven't even used the brushes, they're still in there, but I wanted to love it guys, but I'm gonna be honest, as I always am, the quality is not actually great. Like these palettes are so pricey and I was really not that impressed. Like, like you can barely see it. Like it's like watery. Um, gonna declutter this. I'll give it to someone else who'll just love it. I bought it because it was Tom Ford and the payoff's not that great. So maybe save your money if you're thinking of getting one. <clears throat> I didn't say that. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury um, had way more Charlotte Tilbury palettes. This is the Instant Eye palette. I think this is the original one that she did. Loved it because simply you've got a whole eye look in each of the three shades. You've got um, a crease and transition, a lid shade. Like literally you can make so many eye looks with this palette, but I don't reach for it that much. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened here. I think I used a wet brush to try and pick some more up and it's really damaged it. So this one, I mean, I want to keep it. But there's so many palettes I've wanted to keep in these videos and I just think it's time to declutter and be ruthless. So this one's gonna go, but this one also makes me very sad. Okay, and then we have got the Rock Chick, Pillow Talk, and this is Copper Charge. So copper charge love it got this in a mystery box last year i'm gonna keep this one because i love it it's very very easy to make an eye look out of pillow talk i'm also gonna keep because what's more iconic than pillow talk let's be honest um and then this one the rock chick probably the oldest one gonna declutter that one i've got a couple of newer palettes which are my cool tone ones and i haven't used that in a long time so decluttering okay guys so that is part two of the video done this is my keep pile this is my declutter pile which is looking a lot better than the last video when i kept more than i decluttered so thumbs up to me i've actually done it this time um i'm gonna count how many i've decluttered and count how many i've kept okay so i have decluttered 26 palettes and i am keeping and i'm keeping 15 so I think that's pretty good. 
I'm really pleased with that. I mean, I've made myself be ruthless on what I'm going to declutter simply because I want to buy some more. <laughs> um, but actually, I my takeaway from this video is how much I love the Makeup Revolution chocolate bar palettes and it's reminded me how good the quality is. Um, I'm still unsure about keeping this one. I'll keep it for now. Um, but yeah, so that is part two of my declutter video completely done. Do you enjoy these videos as much as I do? I hope you do. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure you click subscribe before you go if you like these declutter videos. And I will hopefully be doing my lipstick declutter very soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.